Okay, so to get started with the basic shirt color foundation from your book, um, you'll need to first start by measuring the um, center back neck from center back up to the shoulder. And it looks like we're just working on half scale. Um, and then same with the center front. So just what's illustrated here is what measurement we're going to need to write down. So I'm going to go to my sloper. If you're using the half scale sloper that was printed out, go ahead and just measure the same thing. So um, if I just change over here to this tool, keyboard shortcut Z, I can click on it and it tells me the measurement. So mine, I'm going to round up to 4.6 inches. If I hold shift, you can see it's going to get that still says four point. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Hopefully not the whole thing is. Anyways, you know what? I'm going to, well, I might work on the half scale. Should I delete half of it? I'm kind of trying to figure that out. Let's see if I pick you. Yeah, it's probably 4.5. Shift, yeah, yeah, that just turned to 8. I don't know why it's not adding it. That's weird. Um, okay, so 4.6. I need to write that down for my front. 4.6 inches. And then, um, oops. What did I just do? Okay. Let's find my back. And it looks like my back is going to be a 3.89. Or 8.8, eight, I guess I can do. I don't know. Write down whatever your back is. Okay. Um, and then it wants us to add that up. So three, oh, clear. Clear. Ooh, my computer. There we are. 3.123 plus 4.6 equals 8. I could round that up to 8.5, which I think I'm going to make my life a little bit easier. Okie dokie. So um, when we go look at our instructions from the book, um, it's going to tell us to square a line. Um, it wants B to A three inches tall. That's going to be the width of our collar. Um, and then B to C is going to be that neck measurement we just took. So for me, from B to C, it'll be 8.5 inches. And then B to D, is going to be the shoulder notch. So that would be center back to my shoulder. So probably the center back neck measurement. Mine would be 3.88 is what I'm assuming. Um, so, I mean, I, I think the way I'll draw it, I might just draw a rectangle in Clo and then add some points for all three of those spots. Okay, so going to Clo. Um, where should, I think I'll put it up here. I'm going to draw a pattern piece, a rectangle. Um, oops, yeah, I just clicked one time and I could say, okay, so my width, I want 8.5 and um, my height, I wanted three inches. And I'll say, okay. Alrighty, so now it's making that pattern piece. half scale. Um, Okie dokie. So now we want to put a little point for the shoulder notch. So I guess I could split the line right here. The My point's going to be 3.88. So I'll just right click. Type in 3. Point, okay. 888. Okay. And then I guess that's all we want, right? That's basically... <laughs> Figure one, figure two, let's look, look at that together. They want us to square up from C um, and mark half an inch. So this is going to be a curved line to do some contouring so that the collar really like wraps around the neck opening. If it was straight, it just doesn't wrap that nice. So it's just going to contour and they're just using a default of half an inch. Um, so we're going to basically, I might just go and move my point up half an inch. Um, then they want us to draw a curved line here. Okay. From E blending with D. Okay. Um, they want us to square up a line from A. So this is, you'll notice, is a 90 degree angle. 
and they want to pass an inch or more from guideline C, and that's like the point of your collar tip. Okay, it sounds easy enough. So why don't I go ahead and zoom in a bit? I probably don't need this curl in my way. Holding Option to pan. Okay, so this guy, we wanted to move it out. I'm just gonna right click and mark it 0.5. And let's see here. I guess I could just delete this point. I don't really need it anymore. Um, okay. And then maybe this one will change to a curve. Okay. And let's see here. What else do I want to do? I wanted to move this out one inch. So let's, you know what? Why don't I just select this line and right click and say change length. And let's change it to 9.5. Okay. Um, seems good. And then I need to add that roll line. So I'm going to do an internal line there, which I guess is keyboard shortcut G. I'm just going to click once to have that curve. I think I hold, why do I forget this? Is it option or command? I kind of forget. We'll find out. I'm going to hold option. Is that no? Try command. Oh, it's command, yes. Um, okay, and then click there. And return. Not really loving the curve shape I just drew. So let's see if I can kind of fix that a little bit. Let's try. I didn't really say where this point should go, to be honest with you. Um, this is the fold line, right? So Oh, uh, I don't know if I want it exactly in half. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. So this is a little bit less than half and that's a little bit more. I kind of want it a little bit longer. I think this is fine. This is Okay, there we are. That'll be our roll line. Mine is still kind of curvier than the books. I guess I can always change this later if I don't like it. Um. Okay, so there's my guideline. Da, da, da. Okay, um, and that's it, <laughs> I guess. Guess we're done. We're not doing the straight collar. We're gonna do that one. The next page is an under collar, and what they do is they have us trace the upper collar, which is what we just drafted. So if I just copy this guy for the under collar, um, copy, and paste it. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, paste. Okay. Well, maybe he'll be the upper collar because he's on top, and this will be the under one. And all they do, they oh, you know what? We needed a notch. We didn't put in a notch. Shoot, I'll have to figure out what to do about that. Here, I bet you I can figure that out in just a sec. There it is. Okay, let's add a notch right now because that's where our seam matches. Oh gosh, no, I don't know where it is. Hold on one second. Let's see if I can find that. No, what do we do? Um, is it to segment point? Cool. And then now let's notch that guy. Click. Okay, so again, I just used my curves. I'm gonna right click, convert to segment point, grab my notcher. I mean, I guess we don't really need to notch it in Clo because the numbers are gonna match up, but I guess just to double check that that's where our seam is. Um, our shoulder seam. Okay, so anyways, the only difference for the under collar is that they just bring this down one eighth of an inch. Um, so maybe all I do is select this and I can say change length and I could change it to, okay, wait, why do I always forget the seven eighths inches? 8.75. So I can change it to 2.875. And yeah, that's the way I want to do it. So that guy's not at a 90 degree angle anymore. Um, but it's a little bit smaller, and I guess by doing that, it's supposed to help the color kind of roll under a little bit so the seam's not right on the right outer side. Um, obviously, in Clo, it'd be way easier to just not do an under collar for your CAD. But because it's a learning environment, I'm going to go ahead and try to sew it up and see how it goes. Um, it looks like. It says the green line to change it to either be cross grain or on the bias. So 
this is my under collar, so let's go ahead and do that. I believe if I use my fabric, there we go. Um, and then if I pick this guy, I can hold shift. Is it gonna, there we go. And oh, oops, and then, there we go, okay. Yeah, so it did move my grain line, so now it's on the bias. So that's just for the under collar. So that might make it, oh dear, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. That might make it um, just move a little bit different, um, fold a little bit different. They wanted the straight grain straight up and down on the um, upper collar. So that's it. I'm ready to try to go and sew it. Um, I suppose I could um, unfold it. That would probably be good. Okay, so I'm going to select this line. Right click and fold symmetric editing with sewing. I'll do the same for the bottom. Okay, looks good. Um, okay guys, um, so I was playing around a little bit um, with <laughs> Chloe. I was like, why was I having so much trouble with the collar? And maybe this happened to you, maybe it didn't. But I noticed that um, the length of this part of the collar was slightly longer. It was like 4.6 something when to be sewn here is only 4.594. So it was like really struggling to fit, which I don't know why it was. I feel like why not just gather? I don't know. It was freaking out. It couldn't handle it. So all I did was I right clicked this little segment and I said change length and I changed it to match the same length as the front. And that seemed to really help it relax. Also, when I did the arrangement point, you need to be careful because there's like two types of circles. There's one that like only does the half wrap around the neck and there's another one that does a really tight one. So um, just be careful when you're wrapping it. You really want to see how mine's like wrapped. I, that's from the arrangement points. I didn't manually do that. So I think that will also help so you have the right measurements. Um, I think what I'm going to do right now is try to fold it. So here's the fold arrangement. Another thing I did too was I did change my particle distance. Um, so when I click on this little guy, you'll see my particle distance. I just moved down to five. Um, I saw in some of the clove videos, they also changed the shape of their particles. I think it's in the miscellaneous. Um, so I guess they default to triangle and they changed it to quad. I didn't try that yet. Um, so why not? I'll just try it just for this collar. Um, okay, so then now I'm going to get this little turn down tool and I'm going to try to click that internal line. Let's see if I can get this. Here, let's close some of these windows so we get a better view. Um, there it is. Click. Oh, so close. Click. Okay, there we are. And then I guess I'll just pull this down. It should be far enough, I guess. Uh, it's a little bit weird here. That is kind of weird. How it, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix this guy or not. Uh, I don't know. I might just let it fall and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to try to simulate. You're kind of a mess. Are you going to let me pull you? And it seems to be working better, which is good. Um, okay, cool. So that's good. Uh, and okay, I have the collar. There you go. It's kind of still finding its way. So that, if you remember, is the under collar. It seems to be doing okay. Um, what's going to happen if I try to sew the above one on top of it? Maybe I should quit while I'm ahead, right? I don't know. But for the sake of learning, I'm going to go ahead and try to sew the upper collar on as well. Um, yes, here I go. So in order to do that, I guess I need to establish where I'm going to sew it to. So this upper collar, should it be sewn probably also to the neckline? I don't know. Can you sew something to two things? I haven't really thought about that. Um, so I really want all three of those seams sewn together, and I, I don't know how to do that. That's a question I should ask. Um, wait, can I sew three seams? Okay. I don't know. Um, so I guess I'll just try taking you and also sewing it to you. And they're basically the same length. 
Um, and then I probably am going to also change the length of this thing, which is 4.641 to also match. This is only 4.94, 4.594. So I'm gonna change this length to also be 4.594. Let's see if it's changing it the right direction. I think it is, okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna so this guy to this guy, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, so then I should also sew this to this and this to this, okay. Um, so it's frozen up here. So I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna right click, we're gonna say unfreeze. I'm gonna get out my arrangement points. Go to the back. Really squeeze in. See, I don't, that's not good. See, it's not wrapping all the way. This one's better. So that took me a minute because they're so close to each other, right? To really get the correct one. Um, okay. Uh, I'm a little bit worried how this is gonna work with the layers and whatnot. I'm very worried actually. Um, I might just do the full tool right now. Okay, let's just see what happens. It's gonna be a mess, I already know. You don't have to tell me, I know. <laughs> this is hilarious, hilarious. You know what I didn't do? I should probably change the particle distance on that top one too. Okay, so I'm gonna pause that craziness and let's select this guy and go ahead and also change his particle distance oh was it already changed oh here we are to five and change the shape to the quads as well Okay, so it kind of looks like it's being placed underneath it when I actually wanted it on top. Oh well, I'm still simulating and see what happens. Okay. I don't know why it pulled me so weird. Or why? Doesn't seem like the fold is really happening anymore. Okay. Hmm. What would happen if I click you and I click you? No, this is weird. So this is like probably the wrong way to do it. So that's a good learning lesson. Um, I don't know if, how to sew the under collar together. I think I need to learn that from Flo and talk to them about how to do that. So I will get back to you on that. But um, let me know if you guys think you have a solution too. Okay.